Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel here on Latina Plants. My name is Jackie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to share a little haul video of some birthday gifts that I received in the mail. One from one of my dear friends here on YouTube. Her name is Mona and her channel name is Plant Therapy. Check her out if you haven't seen her videos before. I'll put her name on the screen. And the other is from my mother-in-law. It's a nice surprise and I've never had one of these plants before. And the other gifts are from Home Depot and Lowe's that I picked up on my birthday week. All right, you guys, let's get to it. So one of the things that I picked up from Lowe's was this African Violet. She is so beautiful, you guys. She is full of blooms. And the other one, I'm going to have to show you a picture of her. It took some pictures because I actually like to change their soil out because African Violets can be prone to thrips. And I actually had a thrips breakout. So this one also needs to be repotted. I haven't found any thrips, but she has been treated and I did put systemics in her soil for now until I get the chance to repot her. I believe this one and my older African Violet are the only two plants in my collection that need to be potted out of their store soils. And I just couldn't resist picking her up, you guys. She's so beautiful. And I think she looks great in this cute little face planter. I also picked this up from Lowe's. The next plant, you guys, is this beautiful Peperomia Hope. And as you can tell, I already have a Peperomia Hope in my collection back here on my trellis. But I decided I wanted more of her. So instead of propagating her, I picked her up at the grocery store. I have already repotted her. And I hope that she takes well to this terracotta pot. I think it's terracotta. It's like gray terracotta, I think. Um, it does wick away moisture, so I hope she takes well to this pot. And I use some my typical aeroid soil. So I hope that she's happy so far. She seems okay. Her leaves are nice and plump still. She has some new growth since I potted her. And yeah, she looks happy. So now with the fun items that I got for my birthday, I got one from Mona, which was a surprise. I had no idea that she was going to send me a birthday gift. And Mona, you really didn't have to, but I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the special surprise. So I had already unboxed this on camera with my mother-in-law thinking it was the plant that my mother-in-law had sent me but it actually turned out to be the plant that Mona sent me. And this plant came from Rare Herbs Gardens, New Jersey. Hopefully you can see this on the screen. If not, I'll just put the name of the store on the screen for you guys. And it came with this cute little baggie that has two tags inside for your plants. And it also came with two of the little clips or stakes, pins, <laughs> and two of the clips. So I think that's a really nice touch and I was really excited to get this plant, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the plant is. I forget what it's called. <laughs> I'll probably put it on the screen for you guys. But she is in quarantine because I had a major spider mite or flat mite and thrips infestation. <laughs> I call it infestation, but it was a few plants and they're quarantined right now. And I just didn't want to take any more risks. Um, everything has been sprayed down with systemic insecticidal soap. I also use systemic in the soil, systemic granules so that I can 
get ahead of this and not have any more problems. And I'm also currently using a bunch of ugly <laughs> yellow sticky traps. Uh, yeah, to catch any of the flying adults. But enough about that, you guys. That's why I've been gone for so long because my collection, I don't know if you guys know, but it's pretty big and I have my own store on Facebook Marketplace and I wanted to make sure that I treated everything to make sure that none of the plants that I sell or any of my collection plants that I also propagate from get any of these pests. And I really think it came from a couple of the plants that I recently purchased that I didn't treat or change out of their store soil. And yeah, I did a rookie thing, you guys. I brought in plants and I didn't treat them at all. Learn from my mistake. Treat your plants when you get them in your house. So yeah, I got this plant and I'm gonna open her up here so I can show her to you guys. So it's this really cute Hoya, you guys. She's very fuzzy, super thick, firm leaves. I forget what she's called. I really am going to have to ask Mona what the name of this plant is again. And I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But the stem is really light in color. And the leaves are like a chartreuse green. Really pretty. They're really succulent and thick leaves. And they kind of feel like fuzzy or velvety but I was really happy to get this you guys and it's in pond and I did have a little bit of water in the cup so it's dripping a little. I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not but I also put systemic granules in here you guys and she's again quarantining. I don't think she has any pests but just in case. And along with that beautiful plant, you guys, for my birthday, in that package, Rare Herbs Garden um, put in a little freebie for me, and it's called a mini pixie. It's so cute. Wait till you guys see it. I still haven't put this in Fluval or anything, but look at how cute that is, you guys. Don't mind my nails. I need to do them, <laughs> as always. But look, it's so cute. Yeah, I'm so excited about this, you guys. Again, thank you, Mona, and thank you, Rare Herbs Garden. I really do appreciate this birthday gift. It was really special and a surprise. I had no idea that you were going to send me something, Mona. The cuttings that you sent me were enough, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you again. So the next plant that I want to share, I'm probably not going to be able to show you this plant, you know, well but i will do a b-roll for you guys there's my sticky traps <laughs> but look my mother-in-law sent me these there are 22 or 21 little um what are they called lithops there are 22 little lithops and i couldn't help but pot them up you guys they look super cute I can't wait till they grow bigger. They looked very dehydrated when I received them, but they look like they're doing okay so far. I know you're not supposed to water these a lot. And so I did just a light drizzle on the top after I potted them up only because they were super dehydrated and seemed to need some water. But yeah, I did the best I could to pot them up Every time I put one in, one would pop up, so it was not very easy because they didn't have a whole lot of root system, but they're looking super cute, and again, I'll show you guys a b-roll of that. If you guys have been watching my shop with me, you know that I've been oogling over the succulents at Home Depot and Lowe's. That are super cute. I picked this one up, you guys. I've already potted her up in her own terracotta pot and gave her a cute little tag. And she's called a Sedevaria Lilac Mist. Tell me that is not a beauty, you guys. She is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. If you have any tips for these succulents, let me know down below. I'm not that well versed with succulents. I know very little about them. 
And the next succulent that I picked up here, you guys, I think this one is called the Echeveria Black Knight. Now, this one wasn't labeled. I actually had to reach out on Facebook and Instagram, not Instagram, TikTok, to see if anybody could identify the succulents. Um, so it's between Echeveria Black Knight and some other name, I don't remember, that this succulent could be. I thought it looked the most like the Echeveria Black Knight, so that's what I put on there. But look at how beautiful this plant is. Now she was already a little etoliated, I think that's what it's called. But I have her on the south facing window getting lots of morning light. So hopefully she will stop getting etoliated. And she has two dry leaves. So I think maybe soon I can uh, water her. If she's not the Echeveria Black Knight, you guys let me know down below in the comments if you know what type of succulent this actually is. And I will show you a B-roll of all of these plants so you can get a closer look. But yeah, I'm really loving and getting into succulents again. And I will have to do a video showing you my succulent and cacti collection very soon. And if I didn't mention, I picked these succulents up at Home Depot, you guys. And so the next one that I picked up is a Graptivaria Olivia. Super cute, you guys. She had two floral spikes, flower spikes, but I cut them off because I want her to put her energy towards growing some roots in here and filling out this pot and getting healthy and strong and not on any flowering. But yeah, she's beautiful, you guys. And the last plant that I picked up, you guys, is this Echeveria Pink Tips. And I put it in this um, ceramic because I ran out of terracotta pots. But uh, if she requires terracotta, you guys, let me know. And if she's a different plant than Echeveria Pink Tips, let me know as well. I don't know if that's her correct ID, but that's what I put on there for now because that's what she resembles, and yeah, she's super cute, you guys. I could not resist her. I had to pick her up from Home Depot, and I'm so happy that I did. So those are all the birthday plants that I received and that I picked up for my birthday week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the love and support and your patience while I'm gone a lot. Um, yeah, I have plenty of videos that I want to share with you guys, but I had to make sure my plants, my babies were okay. You know, um, that was my number one concern. And believe me, I had a lot, a lot of work that I had to do. And I'll share more of that on upcoming videos. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Let me know down below anything, any tips about these plants. And I'll check you guys out on my next video. Bye. Let me know if you would like to see a African Violet repot from the big box stores. Like stripping the soil and treating the plant, propagating some of the leaves, things like that. Let me know down below in the comments if you like to see a video like that.